All right, so now we come to my favorite part of the instrument automation part, and that's the pitch. Again, you see all the same options here. So just it's just the envelope and the low frequency oscillator that's modulating the pitch here. Does the exact same as the volume, the X and the Y. Just now you're doing it with the pitch. So I'll showcase you guys really quick what it sounds like when you're using these different options with the pitch. What sort of sounds you can make in context of a song, what sounds I like to use for most of my sounds, and you can just take that from there and run with it. First thing I like to do for pitch, is I'll usually like to give my sounds a little bit of a plug. So I'll use envelope for that. What I'll do for here is I want to do it to CAC and I'll take down the attack all the way down because I want the sound to go this full volume all the way. I want the hold to go all the way down because I don't want it holding at the highest point. I want it to start from the top and go quickly down to the bottom. So first off, I'll make sure I also make sure the amount's up because if I don't have that up, nothing's happening. Then I want the decay to go all the way down, maybe just really quickly go all the way down, but just just to leave a little bit so it doesn't so there's still a little bit of a downswing. It doesn't just go beep. It doesn't just, you know, not do anything. Then finally, if you pardon me for a second as I burp, uh, we'll go take the sustain and we'll bring this all the way down because we don't want it sustaining at some other weird pitch. We want it going down to the fundamental part. And release, it doesn't matter because it's already going down to the lowest. So I'll show you here. It really doesn't matter. So if we do that, hit the thumb. Give it a pluck sound. So if you turn this up. If you want more of a plucky, we can change the tension. Change the amount. Give it a little bit of a plug. Again, tempo can be a little bit more musical with our. If I didn't. So that's what that I use, like to use the pitch knob for in terms of envelope. If I use it in LFO, it gives me what's called vibrato. So I'll take the pitch and give it maybe a little bit more of a Frenchy, Marion. Uh, just kind of give your style, give it your sound a little bit more pizzazz, so to speak. So. Mess around with the knobs, maybe do. So you can mess around with that. And another fun thing sometimes I find doing is again, if you take your global, you do it very slow. Take the global or you take it off some really trippy sounds there all the way together. So that's what you can do in terms of pitch. You can either do vibrato, give your sound a pluck if you use the envelope. That's how you do that. Those are the common tricks producers like to use in the context of these two things. Again, not the only things, but just an option to get you started. So we have wrapped up our envelope and instrument section. And finally, in the next couple of videos, we'll go over the miscellaneous options that can just take your sounds and really, really mess around with them.